Next to a CTV News investigation, the premier's dinner in March was one of the hottest invites in the province, but now a Pickering council is wishing she hadn't accepted a ticket. That's because the ticket turned out to be provided by someone who's now under investigation by the province's integrity commissioner for his alleged role in lobbying to have lands removed from the green belt. CTV's John Woodward joins us now with more. John. Michelle, a connected few got opportunities to remove their land from the green belt, according to the city or to the integrity commissioner. And we're learning more about one connection from a man known as Mr. X to an event involving the premier. Now I'm pretty cautious on everything that I do with tickets. You know? Pickering councillor Lisa Robinson says she didn't think anything of it when she accepted a free ticket to Premier Doug Ford's dinner back in March. It was a really exciting, vibrant night. You know, everyone's excited to meet the premier. It was one of at least two tickets worth $1,500 each donated from Municipal Solutions, a company run by former Clarington Mayor John Mutton, a man dubbed Mr. X in an integrity commissioner report that detailed how the unregistered lobbyist offered golf games and Raptors tickets to senior housing ministry figures to push to get a client's cheap farmland out of the green belt so it could be developed and potentially net himself as much as a million dollar commission. One of several connected landowners who could net some $8.3 billion from the land swap due to increased land values. The fallout prompted the housing minister's resignation and a cabinet shuffle. A $1,500 ticket is worth more than the maximum Pickering councillors can accept, and the lack of a paper trail involving Mutton's name prompted calls for Elections Ontario to look into who really paid for it. Who had influence, who had power, and following the money matters. Pickering's Mayor Kevin Ash also declared getting a ticket from Municipal Solutions for the event. From my understanding, John, Mr. Mutton uh, was selling tickets uh, on behalf of the party and probably had sold these tickets to people that knew we're not going to attend and then filled up the tables. That's not unusual. The PC party hasn't confirmed Mutton's role, but says all donations were done according to Ontario's election finance rules. Elections Ontario says it does not comment on whether it is investigating a matter. One of the ministers now in a new position amid the Greenbelt fallout is trying to stay focused. I'm wondering if you think that that land swap scandal is interfering with the ability of this government to accomplish some of its priorities. Um, look, we're, we're in the middle of a housing crisis. Uh, we're expecting a, a million people uh, over the next two years. Uh, we need to take strong action. Well, I can tell you I'm not impressed. I'm a conservative through and through. <laughs> I'm a really hardcore conservative, so I'm hoping that this does not have a lot of impact on the government. Robinson surprised the Greenbelt scandal touched her through just one ticket. We did reach out to Mutton, but he didn't get back to us. The integrity commissioner called him Mr. X because he's not allowed to name someone under investigation for possible unregistered lobbying. Now, another Pickering councillor tells us without the city's gift registry, these tickets would not have come to light. He says every city should have one. Reporting live, I'm John Woodward. Nathan and Michelle, back to you.